Hey everyone, Hunter Haley here. I wanted to come to you today with a book recommendation. I don't read as much as I should, but I do like reading good business books, but I don't like wasting my time on books that are boring or don't really have a lot of good content and different things of that nature. But I always love it when someone gives me a good recommendation. And so recently someone recommended this book to me. It's called The Go-Giver. The Go-Giver is a phenomenal story. It The book is so easy to read. Uh, it's been a long time since I've read a book that was this easy to read. And it's called The Go-Giver for a reason. It's a story about a young man named Joe who's a go-getter. He's out there. He's pushing hard. He's trying to succeed. He's in sales. He's trying to meet his deadlines. And there's a whole story plot around that that is awesome. But basically, the principles that are distilled in this book are absolutely amazing. And it's a lot of it is it makes sense. Um, but so it's not like a far stretch. I mean, it, it absolutely connects. We are like, oh, wow, that makes total sense. But the way that they put it in perspective, the authors, Bob Berg and John David Mann, they do such a phenomenal job and they wrap you up in the story and then they explain the principles through the mentor that he um, finds throughout this process. And I'm not going to give away all the story plot and details, but I do want to read the five laws. And again, they make way more sense and they really connect well if you read the story and how it comes together and how everything comes out. It, it's amazing. And the last chapter totally blew my mind um, with how it all ended up in the end of the story. Because anyway, I don't want to give it away. No spoilers here, but it is absolutely worth reading. But I did want to share the five laws of stratospheric success, which is what the book is really about. And it's just a fun read, period, but there is a point behind it. <laughs> and the first law is the law of value. Your true worth is determined by how much you give in value than you take in payment. I'm going to read that again. The first law is the law of value. Your true worth is determined by how much more you give in value than you take in payment. And this is a phenomenal principle, but if you're focused on giving more to others than you're requiring in payment, or if you're always trying to increase the perceived value of what you're doing, you will be more valuable to people. And it's, it's incredible how that ends up working. The law of compensation is law number two. Your income is determined by how many people you serve and how well you serve them. It makes sense. So if you serve one or two people, yeah, you're compensated. If you're a server and you're only serving, you know, two tables at night, you're probably not going to get a lot of tips. But if you're serving 50 tables or a, a table with 50 folks, then obviously you're going to be compensated a little bit more. Uh, the same law applies in business, wherever you're, uh, whether you're a entrepreneur or you're in business as, um, you know, working your way up the ladder, depending on how many people you serve, that's kind of how you're compensated. That's why, you know, football stars or, um, you know, big CEOs or people of that nature, they serve a lot of people. So in turn, they are compensated accordingly. So it makes sense. So the third law is the law of influence. Your influence is determined by how abundantly you place other people's interests first. And again, every he goes through the story with his mentor and he reveals these principles in a unique way that kind of fleshes it out. It's it's really good. But then at the end of every night, his homework is to apply it. And so he puts it into practice and you can see in a real world sense in the workplace how it would apply. So it's really cool how it all flows together. But anyway, I'll read that one again. The law of influence, number three. Your influence is determined by how abundantly you place other people's interests first. That's a really good law. Number four is the law of authenticity. The most valuable gift you have to offer is yourself. Now, I've often thought this, and I've noticed this, and even they even use the term uh, a magnetic personality. A lot of the people that they uh, that the uh, the mentor takes him to, uh, he says, you know, they're magnetic. How do you? And he's like, how do you describe that? I mean, how how do you define it other than magnetic? And so he works through that. But really, what it boils down to is authenticity authenticity is when people are genuine, they're authentic, they're putting your needs above their needs, and they're serving others, and they're working hard to to be in that flow, then you get that vibe that they're authentic. You can't fake being authentic. 
people just know it and people connect with you. They're drawn to that. And in turn, that gets you connected. It helps you network. It helps you find more opportunities. People want to work with you. They're more willing to help you. And, you know, success soon follows. And the fifth law is the law of receptivity. And basically, this is the key to effective giving is to stay open to receiving. Now, this is probably the hardest law for me to embrace because I've always struggled with being able to receive because I always thought, okay, you know, it's more blessed to give than to receive. And he actually talks about that principle, um, but and he breaks it down and how what it really means. And it's yes, it's blessed. It's blessed to give. Um, but it's also, if there's no one who's willing to receive, then no one could give. And so as you're given things, then you can turn around and give more. And so you have to be open to that. You don't want to be greedy and just lazy and all the time just give, give me, give me, give me, give me. And you do need to give to others and not just be receiving. But at the same time, it's okay to receive. And it's okay to be compensated for the work that you do. Again, if you're putting in more value than you're getting paid in return, then don't feel bad for receiving a fair wage. Otherwise, you're going to be in the poor house and you won't be able to give it to anybody else. But it's it's a really good principle. And he breaks it down and attacks several different principles that people, walls that people put up of being able to receive um, in order so that they can in turn give more. And so it's a great little book. It's um, on Amazon, it wasn't very expensive. Uh, it was well worth uh, the price that I paid for it. Uh, I think it was 15 or $20. It's called The Go-Giver, um, A Little Story About a Powerful Business Idea. And it's by Bob Berg and John David Mann. Phenomenal, phenomenal book. My next book, a couple books that I want to read, is their sequels or basically the ones that are related to it. And uh, those, I believe, are The go uh the go giver leader and the go uh, go giver sales plan or something like that. There, he's got two or three others that they've written um, related to that, and I've, this one was so engaging and so awesome that it makes me want to go out and read those as well. So I hope that you get a chance to read this. You can read it in about two or three hours, maybe more, uh, maybe less if you uh, are a fast reader. It's very easy read, hard to put down. I read it uh, in two two or three sittings. So, I mean, it was just very, very quick read, and it was very engaging. So, hope you find this of value, and if you need anything in the meantime, feel free to reach out to me if you have questions, comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts about this book or other books that you found really interesting as well. Thank you so much.